Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back into some more Anno 1800 with our 1 million population goal challenge playthrough. So if you missed the live stream the other day, do be sure to check that out. It is included in the playlist for this series. It was about three and a half hours long. Uh, we did it over here on YouTube, of course, and it was a lot of fun. We got quite a bit accomplished. I did get all of the agriculture moved off of Winchester here, which I, by the way, renamed this Winchester, as you can see. And we moved it up to uh, Dude Stone. So we have started our little agricultural island up here. Uh, lots of room to expand and work on it. But this is just getting us started. Now, as far as Winchester is concerned, I've done a little bit off camera. Just, you know, just some little uh, housekeeping type things. I did get ourselves a motor assembly set up and running so I can start bringing in some uh, uh, steam motors for ourselves. And as far as our Docklands stuff, rum and fur coats have become our primary exports for the time being. I am importing the furs, schnapps, sausages, pigs, which are being turned into soap over on Dude Stone, as well as the brass. So this is my imports right now and my current exports. The exports will change later on. Uh, fur coats may stay as an export. I kind of do like the idea of exporting fur coats. They aren't too bad to make, especially with a costume designer. So they're fairly easy to make. And I could even start importing all of uh, everything for it with the costume designer, the wool and the fur both, and save that space and make the fur coats for consumption as well as uh, export. So that's some ideas right there. The rum is kind of temporary, even though I'm, I'm doing quite a bit of it. Uh, again, may may kind of keep rum going as a, you know, trade it off or something. I don't know. We'll see about that maybe later on. But yeah, so that's kind of what we got going on here. Now, the other thing I did do is, thanks to um, one of my viewers, long, long time viewers, he's been around since almost the beginning. He's also a channel member, so a uh, big thank you to him for all of that support. Uh, the Real Ogre Bane. We, he and I had a great little go around about uh, crafted items from Nate. Specifically, we got into it a little bit about the jet propellers, okay? He was saying that it's a lot easier just to make the jet propeller cyclone that has the 50% cargo slowdown and the 15% movement speed over trying to craft the jet propeller hurricane, which has 10% more movement speed and 100% cargo slowdown. His reasoning was you get a lot more of the nice scrap by buying it from uh, Nate than you do the special scrap. So, you know, he and I kind of had a bit of a go around back and forth on that. And, you know, he is kind of right, actually. I, I, I do hate to say it. He was kind of right. As you can see, I'm getting, well, see, I, at the moment, I'm not even getting one every time he comes around. Because it's taking him about, what, four minutes? About three or four minutes. Every three or four minutes, I was getting one. But now I'm also getting a lot of spe of nice scrap. He's giving me a ton of nice scrap. So I think it's a bit... It's a bit odd how that works uh, in terms of what he's trading off to you. If we go back and take a look right here. Like, the he doesn't ever sell... Like, this was here is always 2530. Now it's at 2766, so it's a little... Buying multiple goods from him all of a sudden creates this situation where he doesn't always sell you up to the maximum amount of gold that he might in one trip. It's kind of going all over the place now, and it's splitting this to where I'm not getting as much special scrap anymore. So it's a little, it's a little annoying, honestly. It looks like he won't sell me over 2766 in terms of coins. But if he sells me more than one nice scrap, then he won't sell me any special scrap. So I've been sitting here trying to figure out the, uh, you know, how this is all working out in terms of the quantities. And obviously you are getting a lot more nice scrap over the course of every time he comes in in an hour than you do special scrap. But this right here, uh, buying it like basically every three minutes or so, you're getting roughly 15 special scrap per hour. So that's one uh, legendary propeller per hour. 
with this system right with this over here you're basically getting a purple version which is a 50 percent speed about every what like 15 minutes or so but every 15 minutes roughly you're getting one of the 50 percent ones so it is working out to where the purple ones do you can get more of them quicker however I still stand by that ultimately you do want to replace all of your propel all even these right here with the legendaries as you can produce these make these replace these use these early on and then later on replace them with this as you get more uh, special scrap coming in so that would be my thing buy both get these going quickly because they're faster and easier to produce and then over time keep replacing them with jet propeller hurricanes so that, that would be what i would do just you know try to try to replace try to do these first do these later just don't make these they're they're absolutely useless and garbage don't don't waste your time uh, and if you aren't making steam motors just yet just go ahead and buy the steam motors from him you should be able to make enough money at this point to uh buy 10 steam motors about every few minutes whenever he restocks 10 it's about it's you know it's 175,000 if you have a trade a uh, specialist that reduces trade price then you can reduce that down and get those a little bit cheaper about 10 to 15 percent cheaper depending on which one you have uh, that's what i had been doing i crafted a bunch of them just buying the steel and the steam motors and i made a i i, I made a little like array of them all of my ships that are within the region, so just going back and forth between like Dude Stone and Winchester and so on, they all have either jet propeller cyclones or they have uh, the port dealer. And then the ones that are going between the regions themselves, all of them have the epic versions on them. I mean, epic. They have the legendary versions on them. So they're bringing in all of that a little bit faster. Going between the regions is a lot more important to have the 100% slowdown. So that would be uh, that would kind of be my my thing about that. You really want to use the legendary ones going between the regions. That's the most important because you really want to get that cargo slowdown on your rum and your coffee and cotton fabric if you need it. So. That would be my suggestions on those. Again, big thank you to Ogre Bane for kind of pointing out that you can get more of the 50% cargo slowdowns, and those are perfectly fine for within the region. Once you start having cargo ships, you'll have an additional slot, so you could pair like the cargo, the um, the jet propeller, the epic jet propeller, with something such as uh, the one-turn screw propeller or the controllable pitch propeller from Archie. You just go over there and buy those from him. He usually has them. Or you can also get them from Old Nate and Isabel as well. I do have people constantly saying, you know, you can buy those from other people. And I know, just, you know, we're in the old world. Just leave them alone. But you can buy those from multiple traders and get them from lots of different places. So combine those with like a controllable pitch propeller, which are, you know, they cost about 300000 or so. 200000 300000 something like that. And uh, then you'll get your 100% slowdown until you are ready to replace them with legendaries later as well. So... Well, several different options on propellers there. Uh, also, these things do stack, by the way, and I didn't know that. And someone pointed it out, and these uh, those do stack. Uh, the propellers from Archie do not stack. Like the one-turn screw and the controllable pitch propeller, those cannot stack. However, the propellers you craft from Nate can stack. So you can stack two of those if you have some desire to do so. So just a little, just a little couple side notes right there. All right, so, but yeah, we've got quite a bit done here. Uh, we we do have the bank up and running. We've got everything going. I've got myself a Mr. Garrick over here supplying ourselves with some pocket watches in this region right here. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is getting ourselves up into here, and I want to go ahead and blueprint out the rest of the city right here. I want to go ahead and blueprint uh, out a uh, 14 by 14 or is it 16 by 16? 16 by 16? You know, whatever size that is I'm using. I forgot now already. I want to go ahead and start blueprinting out the city up here and seeing how it's going to work. I'm going to leave room for like arcades and stuff like that from skyscrapers because we are going to have a nice collection of skyscrapers up here. I do also want to go ahead and get another thing of oil going. 
because uh, we are going to need more oil. So let's just go ahead and make that happen. Some oil. And I'm going to give this thing a nice little loop right there to go around. Cool. So that's going to give us enough for another power plant, which I will likely put right... I'll probably put another power plant up here, and then I'm going to get oil from the New World coming up here. Actually, no, I'm not. I absolutely... I just lied to you guys. I just lied. I'm really sorry. I don't mean to lie. I lied. We're going to um, boost these. We're going to boost these two with some trade union stuff. I've got that. I think that's all I've got for this second. No, I got a Ferris as well. Okay, we got a Ferris. We've got that. Now, I'm going to do something super ugly here. Don't mind how ugly this is going to look. Um, going to be absolutely necessary. All right, and it's low. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll make this look pretty later, I promise. Very low and none. Okay. So why why are you Oh, it's because he has one more. That's fine. I'll have some other fire stations up here later and I can fix that up. Uh so anyways. So now we've got how much oil coming in? 48 oil per minute now from those two. Oh, look at that production. It went from 12, 12, 12, boom, 48. So much oil now. That is absolutely amazing. How much How much oil is that? That's enough for four power plants, roughly. Enough for four. Takes three oil wells per power plant. Should be, uh, that should be right. Should be 12, yeah. Should be four power plants now that I can support. So I can get several power plants going which is going to be very, very nice. So so with that, I think what I'm going to do is actually do a cut in the video here. I'm not going to time lapse this part. I think I'm just going to do a cut in the video and lay it out because I don't know how this is going to look and I don't want to waste y'all's time in a time lapse sitting there watching me blueprint trying to figure out what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do a cut in the video and I'm going to lay a significant portion of this out and then we'll come back and take a look at what I've done after that. So I will see you guys after the cut. Okay, so, I think I've got a small plan going on here. We've got ourselves our little, sort of a downtownish area started right here. Um, still a little bit more I need to do, like, in terms of, like, just decorating it up and making it look nice and all those kinds of things. But, at the moment, I think I'm getting pretty happy with how this is starting to turn out right here. This is going to be kind of like the core of our like skyscraper areas right here. Um, probably going up just a little bit up here and probably some more here and there. But for the most part, this is going to be the, especially right through here, because I did get two power plants going. So I've got enough power to get down through here and get power to these areas and get some skyscrapers right there as well. I think this is going to be the majority of our skyscrapers. So I'll take a real quick check on our oil. We should still be... Oh, that's right. It's uh, it's broken right now. Uh, we are uh, we are not at patch three point uh, three three point two thirteen point two, which is actually coming out tomorrow. Uh, so I can see where we are at on my oil consumption. But I I think I'm just fine on oil cons on oil production right now. Should not be an issue. Uh, I don't really feel like getting a calculator out to do it. I'll uh, I'll just check it tomorrow. So I think with that, let's do some mass upgrades. Let me get these going. Get all of our little stuff first. Actually spread these out a little bit more. Kind of want to go ahead and get all of our stuff in here. Uh, this town hall right here actually needs to get a little bit better coverage. I need to redo that part right there, I think. Or I could move him uh, maybe like to right I want to try to cover as many houses as possible with this town hall. I mean, that's a decent spot for him. It's just this. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. There we go. Weird little, weird little something right there. But you know what? I think it'll work. Uh, I will get an actor in there. 
here in a little while. So that takes care of all of them. And before I do that, let me just double check real quick here. Uh, you know what? Stop selling fish. Stop selling the fish. Um, we are not selling that stuff anymore. So, or am I? Am I still selling soap? No, I'm not selling soap anymore. Okay, good. Okay. Mass upgrade to that. I have everything I need over here to get them upgraded. I've got... Um, oh, wait. I don't have these. Don't have those up and running. I thought I had some schools somewhere. Or did I take them out? I think I already took them out. Let me put this back in. Yeah, I took the schools out. That's fine. That's an easy fix. The schools won't stay, so I'm okay with them kind of on the periphery. Because they're not going to stay here. They're uh, they're just temporary to get me uh, past artisans or into artisans and past that. The same with the variety theaters. They won't they won't stay. Well, they might stay actually. I might keep the variety theaters uh, just because I will have some engineers up here as well. So. Okay, lots of empty blank space. Uh, that's all for like later on with expansions and maybe some decorations and some different stuff. So I'm leaving myself plenty of room to have a little bit of fun later. Add in some new, some different buildings and some stuff like that. So trying to leave myself a bit of space here. All right, let me fast forward and let me get this part right here upgraded. So we'll see how this is going to look once it gets up to the engineer level and um. Uh, yeah, basically now I'm just I'm just waiting for population so I can get all this filled in. So I'll see you guys when I get back with some engineers. You now there's just something really really pretty about just a city of artisans and engineers. I don't know what it is. It's just something, just something absolute. Of course, it's pouring down rain when I'm trying to make it look at the pretty city, but there's just something, there's just something nice about it. It's just I don't know. It makes me smile looking at this. So I love it. All right, so we've got all of this right here upgraded as much as I can for the second. Uh, of course, uh, I did move the town hall. It was right here. I scooted it up here. That way I could have two town halls in this area. I do plan on getting a Mr. Garrick in here as well to supply with some more uh, pocket watches and later on jewelry for the investors. 20,000 down. 980,000 to go. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bit of fun getting there, but yeah, I, I it, it'll get there. It, it'll take a little while, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, just to see if there's anything down here. Another port dealer. I do love me a port dealer. Uh, there's a chef Michel. I'm gonna grab him. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves a chef Michel. Need luck on a Mister another Mister Garrick. I did get one. Oh, there's a Dario. Yes, 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 yes. With a Dario. Give me here, Bubba. I need you. I will take that. All right, so yeah, got all of that taken care of. Um, I did turn on steel uh, sewing machines and fur coats to these guys. I did have that turned off, but I have it turned on now. So now it comes the standard of looking back and seeing what all I've got to do, and that is quite a bit. We need uh, more sewing machines coming in. Um, I ought to see if we're going to need more fur coats, because I am using fur coats as an export right now. So we need 141, 25, 10, and 35, divided by 37. I need an overproduction of 7. Currently, my overproduction is only of 5. So I do need another one of these. Oh, I'm out of windows. Right, I'm out of windows because of all the upgrading. Okay, we'll go ahead and just uh, plant. You know, I'll just go ahead and plant two down. Oh, I'm slowed too much. Go ahead and plant two of those, because I know I'm going to have to have them. Get that in there. And sewing machines, I said. Yes, sewing machines. Now, I am going to do something a little... Some people may be like, ah, that's not really beauty building. I am going to do somewhat, some stuff kind of efficiently, just because, you know, I'm going to have to. Going to have to do some stuff efficiently. So, where do I have? I've got one there and one there. Okay. I like that one down there. 
This one right here, I don't really care as much for the placement of. I'm going to get it over here somewhere or there. I leave myself a ton of space for these things. Because I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I changed my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind on occasion. Come here. What's happening here? What's happening there? Alright, uh, so we've got power to there, and I've got power to there. I do want to use that Dario. That's kind of the big thing. I do want to get that Dario in. right there. Just just bear with me. I have an idea. Oops. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Alright, come on now, you. Ah, I've got to have more windows. Alright, I just need to get these in here for the second. Um, I guess I could come over here with it. Or over here, maybe? Or right up here. You know what? I think we'll do it right up there. Okay, give me this. Yeah, let's do it this way instead. I'll do something else right there. Now, am I going to get... It's not going to be enough, is it? Dang. And I'm out of that. <laughs> Mass upgrading hurts everything. Oh, you know what? Let's cheat it here. <laughs> Did that work? That works! That get that gets them electrified. <laughs> uh, that, that'll do it. Okay, so... Showing machine factories. Yeah, I've only got a Dario right now. That's perfectly fine. Now I need bricks. <laughs> now I need the bricks. But I can at least get... Oh, I need bricks for everything. I've got bricks coming in from somewhere. Uh, where are you at, though? Where are you at, though? There you are. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's... Going all the way around, because this over here is kind of blocked up. That's fine. You can go over there and drop that off. Oh, hang on. we got some soul to us, too. Good. Okay, so that's going to give me pocket watches and gramophones, and instead of steel, I only need iron. That is going to greatly decrease the amount of steel I have to have, so I can probably get rid of one of those. Yes, I can get rid of one of those. As far as iron, though, that does hurt me on the iron. Um, I guess that means it's time to set up a trade route with him. To buy some of that stuff. I don't need the zinc or the copper. We just need that, so... Oh, whoops. Go ahead and buy all of that. Okay, cool. That'll be bringing in enough of that. Uh, we need a tiny, tiny bit more timber. I'm also going to set up a, uh, like a, low, like a, uh, whatchamacallit, 
dedicated timber production island later. Get rid of it on this island. Our clay is not doing so hot for some reason. Uh, Productivity. Oh. Stop that. Okay, that's fine. All right, this is all good. This is all good. It's all looking fine. So that's good now. Well, now we have a good overproduction of nine per minute. That's lovely. Dude stone. All of this is looking good. We're massively overproducing on work clothes, which means I may actually use the work clothes for an export later. The only thing I got to check now is uh, this kind of stuff right here. Make sure I bring you enough sausages. Six per minute, six times 18 is 180. I'm bringing in way more than enough that I need. Just put that at 200. Uh, I was importing, I did import some timber to kind of quickly get through that. I'm going to let that import just a little bit more and then I'll get rid of it. And as far as fur, I need 18 per minute. That's so much, 540. Okay. 540, lovely. And these are quickly going up and being able to go to the next level as well as the rum, which was being used to import the timber. So rum and stuff's going up as well. So that's all good. Something got destroyed over here. Oh, uh, right. Illnesses that I don't really care about. So with that, basically, I'm just going to have to let this run and I got to save up windows and bricks. And of course, I'm, if you have not noticed, I'm still not producing steel beams myself. I am strictly importing steel, not importing. I am buying steel beams from Archie. And that's how I'm getting my steel beams. Um, and obviously, strangely enough, that's not even the, uh, the bottleneck. My bottleneck is windows. I have two window makers, one of them electrified, but there's just, you know, I had to have so many windows to upgrade to engineers. So I'm going to let it run a little bit, save up some material, and then get ready to move into investors in the next episode. Try to steamroll my way through investors as quick as I can and get skyscrapers unlocked and get started with that, because that's kind of our big thing. Once we have that unlocked, all the other islands will go a lot faster because I can pre-plan for everything ahead of time and not have to muck about. And we'll start getting more dock lands up and running, start getting more goods coming in, uh, start creating some uh, slightly more efficient production setups to mix in with our beauty building. Um, I'm going to try to make some efficiently beautiful... Uh, production layouts. Let's go for, let's call it that. Okay. We'll go for that idea. And with that, guys, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave me a like and a comment down below. If you are interested in seeing these map settings, be sure to check out the Discord server. Or if you just want to hang out with me and the rest of the community, all like 1,500 of us over on Discord chatting all the time about different things, come on over there. The link is down below. With that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Take care.